Same old, same old. Gardner, the, the team has talked about, you know, that this is a battle. I'm curious, what do you feel like you have to do to differentiate yourself from Aiden to win the job? Uh, I don't know, man. I think the big thing for whoever's out there, we got to take care of the ball. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be a big part of our success. I think we're going to count on our defense this year and just distribute the balls to the playmakers that we have. Uh, I think we take care of the ball, and I think that's the case for pretty much everybody in the league. Uh, you can win. How have you felt that that's gone for you in particular? I think it's uh, been really good, man, especially like since we put the pads on. I think we've had some really good work against the defense, uh, and they do a good job giving us all kinds of different looks, mixing it up. they got playmakers over there. I think it's been awesome, man, and um, we've really grown as an offense and are starting to figure out who we are. When you look at that defense, you're obviously a really good defense. Um, you look at what they're able to do, it, it, does that create a recipe for you guys to win, kind of leaning on that defense, leaning on your run game, and you guys, kind of, like you said, taking care of the ball and taking advantage of those playmakers? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you win the turnover battle, you win like 70, 70 half percent of your game. So, like, just starting there, uh, you know, it's huge for us. And then you have a defense that when they're playing at their, you know, capacity, they can really shut people down, you know. So, really, that becomes even more important. Uh, just playing complimentary football. And uh, understanding what we are as a team. Is there a uh, difficulty of not having 17 around for a few days, or is it give you, I guess, I guess a chance to work with some other guys? I mean, you certainly miss him, but I mean, I think it's been a great opportunity for other guys to get in and get some real reps and to step up. I mean, I think we feel great with our whole crew out there. You know, all of our receivers have been making big plays. Uh, tight end group is awesome. Uh, running backs even getting out, running the ball and catching the ball. Uh, I think it's been a good opportunity for everybody to kind of get going and find their place in the offense. How much do you feel Max Crosby out there? Uh, no, you feel him, you hear him. You know, he's always trying to touch you. Uh, it's kind of his thing. <laughs> but uh, no, he's awesome, man. He makes an impact. And as long as he's doing that on Sundays, man, we're going to be in good shape. What were your takeaways from the scrimmage on Saturday night? Um, shoot, takeaways. I mean, kind of the same things we've been working on on camp, you know. Like, you know, you turn on the scrimmage, but it's really, it's another practice for us. It's a, it's a good competitive opportunity. Um, you know, under the lights, felt like a high school jamboree a little bit, which is fun. Um, but man, I think it's the same things we've been building towards the whole time. I think we're starting to find out what our identity is a, as an offense, what different guys can do, where, how we can put them in positions to succeed. Uh, and that process uh, has been a lot of fun. Hey, Gardner, how, how much do you think the preseason performances will dictate what happens with the decision for the starting job? Oh, I have no clue, man. Um, you know, that's not my decision. So. How, how, how excited are you to get to play a different defense than these guys? Yeah, no, I mean, I love, shoot, I love playing preseason football. Any chance to get out and play is awesome, you know, and I think with the guys we have, it'll be a lot of fun, a uh, chance to go out and make plays and uh, hopefully win. Uh, I mean, it was like a full contact, like live scrimmage. So, like, no. <laughs> How have you approached preseason uh, in, in your career, and you know, this is maybe your first real opportunity as a to fight for the starting job in camp. That was the declaration. So, do you approach preseason any any differently, knowing that that's what's at stake? No. Um, if there's a better way to approach it, I'd have been doing that, you know, but. I think it's all the process to get better, you know, whether you're in your competition or not. Like, I believe I can play in this league. If I get better, I can play really well in this league. So if I can continue to get better, I'm going to put myself in the best opportunity, and that's all I can really control. Garner, I know it's preseason, but that it's, it's an actual game, and as you mentioned, going against a new defense and finding kind of your identity, what is it that you're actually looking to accomplish on week seven? Uh, win, you know, do that, score, uh, take care of the ball. You know, and I think it's all an opportunity, you know, to kind of figure out what we are, what we're about, and build confidence going into the year. What is that identity? You mentioned that a couple of times that you're finding your identity. What is the Raiders identity offensively in your mind? Yeah, I think it's going to be dishing the ball out, getting our guys in space, running. Uh, we got some guys that are awesome after the catch, doing that heavy run game, play action with it, and just really having a balanced attack and balance with run pass, balance with multiple people touching the football. Uh, I think that's what's going to be good for us. How is this offense taking advantage of your ability to move around a little bit in the podcast? Yeah, it's good, man. I like uh, you know some of the play action, some of the boot game stuff is good. Um, yeah, I think all that sets up well and uh, it's stuff that's a lot of fun for me. We, we ask you a lot about practice against like Max and Christian guys up front, but Jack Jones seems to have taken his game to a kind of a different level. What's it like practicing against him, and how difficult does he make it up there? No, he definitely has a nose for the ball, man. He's kind of a wild card. Um, 
you know, even though you know the coverage by the book, he can play a little different, read things and pick things up. Uh, he's a smart player that has good instincts, you know, so you always kind of have to be aware um, that he'll probably get involved in the play if it's on his side. How difficult has that secondary been in general, just to, you know, complete some passes and some explosive plays in particular? Yeah, no, they're doing a good job, man. I like, uh, I mean, safeties are bats. Jack's been doing great. Nate, nickel, super smart, savvy dude. Uh, JB on the outside so fast. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a great group, man. It's an awesome challenge every day to go out there against them. How unique of a safety blanket, I guess, is Brock Bowers when he's screaming across the middle for you and you're rolling out? Uh, he's awesome, man. I mean, all these guys that you can get the ball to and they can turn, like, two-yard passes into, you know, explosive gains, that's huge, man. And that's things that really keep your offense on track. And you get explosives like that, then you're turning drives into points. And uh, look forward to, you know, him especially, but a lot of guys in the room that can do that for us. How do you believe your offensive line has really been trying to hold up and develop so far as camp has progressed? I think it's been good, man. I think uh, a lot of the communication's gotten tight, man. That's that's the huge thing is the offensive line group. Those guys, five is one, you know, being able to communicate, pass off different looks. And we've seen every look from our defense. So, I mean, I think that's great preparation for heading into the year. Um, I think we should have a lot of confidence with our group. Seems like it's been a good battle between you and Nate. The relationship's good, but is it is it hard on a daily basis not to say like, "Dog, no, today he's gonna be to like keep score in your mind like that"? No, I'm honestly just trying to compete against myself. If I can get better, I'm gonna be all right. Okay. Thank you, Gardner.